Hello world, PDR coming at you here. Hopefully there's not too bad a background noise. We are out in the elements, but we're actually in a, in a garage. So we got a 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan um, that actually had, I, I will say it again, either a full shopping cart, a completely full shopping cart, or somebody's very light bumper hit this. Um, the scrape goes from here to here. And then it also comes down here in the bottom of this body line. We've got a large brow coming out of the top. And honestly, guys, I did just walk up to it, stick my woods grip on it, and try to give it a little yank. So it was a little bit more severe, but I didn't want to tighten anything up uh, before I started tapping down this brow right here. So if you see, I mean, this, these lines should just basically remain straight and slightly curve out. But you see that right there. That's what we've got. So what I'm gonna do is just start banging on this brow. I will say, uh, I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video. And um, if you would hit that subscribe button, we sure appreciate it. But what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna grab my jackhammer and find the tightest spot down here and really just start giving it some love. Right where it's the tightest, I just wanna kinda those, those lines that smash together, I want to kind of break them open. No heat. We could probably throw a little bit of heat on there. Just to warm up this panel. Why not? Um, it doesn't look like there's clear guard. And it doesn't look like the paint actually scratched all the way through. It scratched through the clear on the top of the paint. So um, when we get done with the dent, Obviously, getting this line out is our main concern, but if we can, uh, you know, get this line out to the where we want it and this brow out the way we want it, let me focus on this brow a little bit, then um, a good detailer might be able to uh, wet sand polish that out. But like I always say, it's not this guy. I'm not going to be wet sand polishing it on somebody's uh, three-stage pearl white. Uh, it's really nice paint. Um, get back into this and and do this. This might be the boring part, guys. So what I'm gonna do is spend a couple of minutes doing this. Getting some of this brow out. And I won't, uh, I won't keep you in for the boring part of just sitting here doing what I'm doing. But I will show you, uh, we'll come back and show you what it looks like after I get this brow out. I'll get some access to the rear of this dent either through taking this inner piece out or getting a hole underneath there, underneath this uh, wheel well, which I haven't even felt yet. It looks like there's a little plastic cover. I don't know if I feel behind it. Mm. Let me just try to find where we're at here. Yeah, if I got behind that plastic cover, there's a nice little wall that rolls out this way that I could put a hole in, come in here and tool the rest of this den out um, real nice with either number one or Louie, and then paint that plug in the back, stick a little plastic plug in it, and put this stuff back, and uh, no one would ever know the difference. And I've already informed the customer that that might be the case. So um, I'm just going to start tapping on this brow, getting this thing down a little bit, and we'll come back to you guys in just a bit. We're back. I tapped a lot of that brow down. I gained some access. Uh, still got a little bit of a background noise, but we're getting it nice and warm. Got it really hot there. And I'm going to come right into this little tight area. I'm using the fog. And I've got broken handle with a little bit of uh, 
electrical tape on it. Just wrap it around the tip a little bit to uh, smooth her out. And this is uh, the tough part of it right here. So I thought I'd bring you guys in for this. It's uh, the most tension is right here where I'm at. I'm just really taking my time on this one. Making sure it comes out real nice. Especially right on that body line. And I'm feeling like I want to keep it warm again. It's still pretty warm, but uh, this is white three-stage pearlescent paint. And we want to get it up to that 130 degree mark. You'll see that little that little brown line in the edge. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's definitely there. I tried to perfect it and it's not gonna move. So uh, he'll, he'll need a little touch up at the very end of the process. Um, or like I said, maybe a little bit of wet sand and polish. But I'm dialing into this tight area up here where it's really tough. And I'm gonna move down to the middle of this line and basically just straighten this whole line out, guys. Um, once again, I'll say I appreciate everybody sticking with me for this video. It's definitely a larger dent, takes a longer time. Um, it's not something that we knock out in five or 10 minutes. So uh, this is one of those uh, pretty much all day jobs for me. And I just kind of went into Z mode. I'm still right around here. I don't know if you guys can see it. My pushes, they're getting tougher to see. Um, I'm just finding my spot and staying on that line. I'm really kind of going for the line first. Although I can tell I got to do more brow work. Got to get back up here and break this brow down a little bit. So I think what we'll do is We'll finish this dent off and come back and show you guys the end result. Hey guys, we're back. Um, I got a lot of this line out. And if you see, it got real severe right about here. Uh, no broken paint. Uh, no real severe push marks. A couple of real, real, real tiny push marks. And now I still see I got a little bit of this brow I got to take out. And I'm just going to kind of jackhammer it. Right at that crest. You guys can actually see it. When I hit up here on this brow, it starts to want to move down here because it wants to reset that metal. So if you see, I hit on the right spot, it'll actually want to not, not exactly pop the dent out, but move that metal back to flat because there's nowhere else for it to go. Basically just gonna jackhammer the brow down. I know that I said in the last clip we'll come back and show you the end result, but this has been a long dent and a long day, and uh, we're gonna make sure we get this thing out nice. So um, I'm just gonna keep on hitting this brow down and then rework the rest of this line out, and then we will come back and show you the end result in just a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. This is pretty much what we ended up with. Uh, we got that body line out, no push marks, no cracked paint, has a tiny little bit of a brow there that uh, I have literally been working on for the last hour. And so without making some real, real severe body line pushes that are gonna actually fracture that paint, um, I decided to call it here. Uh, he definitely needs a little bit of a either touch up or wet sand polish right there. But yeah, we're left with just a slight little bit of a brow. Um, I was gonna say I might even spend another couple of seconds here just going with the Shane Jacks and seeing right where I'm at and doing this, which I can do. But like I said, guys, I've just been been, been doing that for almost uh, almost an hour now, just trying to work on this brow. It was it was a pretty severe dent, and I think that we got it out pretty nice. The customer's really happy with it. So um, ho hopefully you guys like what you see here. Um, if you do, hit us up with that like button. Other than that, this has been PDR, and I'm out. Peace.